Welcome back to another week of Sometimes Crypto. Yes. The Unscripted Crypto Podcast. <laughs> You're waiting for me to say favorite? I think that's what happened. I, I wasn't going to say if yeah, I saw no, you go ahead. No, no, and no, I, you, you pointed at me. I was like, uh. I always point at you. Yeah, but you pointed at me when you are going to say, you're going to say uh, the other thing, uh, your favorite crypto podcast. Yeah. So I kind of cut you off. I'm sorry about that. I know. I just wasn't sure if you were going to say or I wasn't. It's but yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is it? Your favorite crypto podcast. Hey, hey <laughs> Today's a fun one. Today's or not a fun one. No, 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 no. I need a, Twitter. Today's a fun one. You need Twitter? Yes, there's something that happened on Twitter. Oh, fun stuff. But you can continue. I'm sorry for interrupting. Right, I was like, today, I loud. today we're talking about the Goliath. The firm, the one and only A16Z Andreessen Horowitz. I don't know if I sp- pronounced that last name. I was about to say spell You didn't spell it. Horowitz. But yeah. Uh, big, big, big uh, venture capitalist firm. Uh, angel f- angel, f- angel, angel investors, investors. Seed raisers. Seed fund raisers. Uh, seed fund raisers? Seed funding? Seed funding raisers. They raise seed funding for for the firms, that, for the companies that they're invested in. I don't know. I don't know. They do. They do money stuff. <laughs> they do money. Stuff, this guy. <laughs> this is what they like. provide funding in seed rounds to companies. Yes. And in IPO stages and in different vast amounts of things. Correct. The money because they invest in a couple of things. Correct. And a couple. <laughs> they, mm. I think they invest in everything at this they, point. I think they invest in almost everything. I mean, they got a lot of money to invest in, so. With I the, mean, they've raised four firms, four, four funds. My bad. For crypto specific funds. No, no, not all four of them are crypto specific. No, they've raised four crypto specific funds. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, no, no, not all four of them are crypto specific. Just one? No, 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 no. Because no. I know one of them for a fact is crypto. Yeah, yeah, the last one they did, they just opened. It. I thought the fourth one is a multiple of them. They, you're multiple. They all, yeah, they're multiple. all allowed to invest in multiple different things, uh-huh. but the funds are all structured differently. Okay, I see. To to fund. Yeah, so this is this thing. is kind of William's more expertise. I don't know. Don't I'm no expert. <laughs> Take everything I say, grain of salt. This is not verify a, everything. This is not, not financial not advice. <laughs> I, I, I hate when he says things like that. I know a little bit, not a lot of it, <laughs> enough to defend myself. And sometimes I surprise myself. Sometimes we don't know yet. We'll sometimes. see how it plays out. But yeah, big big firm founded by Mark Anderson and Ben Horowitz. Mark Andreessen. Andreessen. Oh my God, I'm like. And Dreesen, you're right. <laughs> and Ben Horowitz. All right, so. Yes. The part that was getting me that I didn't understand. Okay, let's, just, let's not even talk about the me. Let's just see what we do. What's the part I got you? Where the heck did they get A16Z from? It's an act. It's a. It's the first name of A and last name of Z. And the 16 is how many letters are in between. Yeah. <laughs> I had to just I just searched it up because I was like oh wait I never found out what that meant yeah that's yeah, what it is a num, numer, numeronym I don't know how to pronounce that numeronym I'm not seeing what you're seeing okay no no okay so it's a like it's spelled numer anim but I yeah. thought that's how you wanted to pause on yeah no no it's just like that it was like an interesting thing but yeah it's like you said the amount of letters between like Andreessen Horowitz, uh, A through Z, because Z is the last letter. And A is the first. And then A is the first, and then 16 in between. Apparently, there's other ones. Like, the website that I found was uh, the one that explained it, at least to me. Techopedia. Uh, internalization uh, would be I18N. What? I18N? Yeah, so internalization, 18 characters between I and N. Oh, got you. Yep, cool stuff, cool stuff. I didn't know. I never had seen it. I was like, okay. I had I had to like figure out what that meant. But yeah. Are you satisfied now? Yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. <laughs> 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 right. <clears throat> yes. Assets under management. A lot. The <laughs> Goliath. Uh, it's not Goliath. No. No, uh, it's, it's not a trillion dollar company. <laughs> yeah, but they are a Goliath for the ones they do. <clears throat> You think, uh, huh? No, they're not not close. I think I I got some faith in them, but you think uh, acquisition dot com's got got some potential to reach uh, a sixteen z's different different. It, it's different. Yeah, yeah. No, it's different structures. 
Ah, I see. So, so yeah, and eight sixteen Z is more like a cap cap. So yeah, acquisition dot com isn't a venture capitalist fund. It's more. It's an aqua. It's a acquisition company, meaning they're buying parts of the company that they're gonna help grow the company. Mm-hmm. Versus the other versus venture capitalists, what they're doing is they're more so providing the money. And me, at times, of course, are gonna provide help and assistance in certain yeah, things, no, no, but not as hands-on in mm-hmm. the day-to-day. Mm-hmm. Versus acquisition.com is gonna have hands-on in bettering the company. Yeah, they're, they're a portfolio firm where they're like trying to like build that specific. Correct. I- Other example would be here, um, and <clears throat> Anderson Horitz is gonna be investing in IPOs. They're gonna be investing in specific cryptos or in networks and stuff like that. Acquisition.com isn't. They're just gonna be acquiring other companies. Yeah, the and they range. They're they're trying to reach a billion dollars in. Yeah, they're trying to get to the first billion. Under managing. Exactly. A sixteen Z has already got. It's a little different. Again, <laughs> like we just talked about. I the number I got is twenty eight point two. The number I have from their website, AndersonHorowitz.com, about page. They currently have thirty five billion assets under management oh. across multiple funds. Okay, so this sure. is their number. Yeah, no, no, that's their. If number. it's wrong, blame them. No, yeah, that's I can't get. Number. I can't get any straighter from the source. Yeah, unless no, you want me to call Horowitz and and <laughs> and Dreesen and be like, hey, I didn't get. I didn't get it from their website. So no, I, I tr- I, at least I, I would trust something that comes from their website as more like, okay, well, this is what you're saying sh- should be should be right. Should be the most accurate, right? But they have more. It's a, it's a different game because they're not really investing in companies per se. It might be more so a mix of things. So that's why they're able to get the evaluations they get. Correct. But they started inv- they started off by investing in companies. IPOs. And IPOs? More so than Pre- anything. Private companies? Or just IPOs? IP, just IPOs. Yeah, yeah, meaning just companies that are about to become public and they're one of the initial investors. <coughs> like the early successes are Twitter. They Skype. Also, huh? Skype. Skype, they did Twitter, Skype, Airbnb, and they've exited the majority of the yeah, ones. Yeah, I'm saying. assuming by, by that point. They exited, they did Coinbase too, and they exited that. Yeah, so the first the first two investments that they did in 2009 after opening was uh, supposedly Aptio and Skype, um, where Skype ended up selling to Microsoft in 2011. Yeah. So like two years after for $8.5 billion. But... I just don't know how much they had in Skype. You won't see. You won't. Yeah. For the most part, since there are private companies and like well, most private companies, that information is hard to get. To put in perspective, in 2011, I'm assuming right after they sold Skype or when they were planning on selling Skype, uh, they invested the $80 million into Twitter. So they probably got... At least $80 million. <laughs> More than that. At least $80 million. They got a little more than that. They probably got three. $300 million. $300 million? Yeah. And they took 80 to invest in Twitter. That's crazy. And Twitter and IPO at that point in time. Not the fun stuff. My bad. I oh, out. at that time, uh, those Twitter was a private company. So, okay. They so took Twitter to IPO. Uh, yeah. But uh, they were also invested into Facebook, Zynga. Yeah. You said Airbnb? Yes. And Twitter. Yeah, you can you can go on their website. You click Portfolio, and it'll tell you some of the ones there that they've currently, that they have exited. Oh, they, like they, they were in Lyft. Uh, Groupon. They, yep. Yeah. Robinhood as well. They exited Roblox. These are bigger, bigger names. Yeah, but Roblox they got into it later. Roblox they got into. Yeah, I think probably. It was like, um, what was that? Recently, actually, twenty twenty. Yeah, they entered Roblox twenty twenty, but they put a bunch of money into Roblox. Yeah, a hundred fifty million dollars. That's not a bunch of money. That's a lot of money. Not for them. Okay, well, the part that got me confused actually was for the Roblox. Mm-hmm. That was in Series G of funding. Okay. So they, they, that's the growth stage, if I'm not mistaken. But I didn't know there were so many stages of funding. Yeah, there's multiple levels. I've never seen any company go to past D. Which is D? So like A, B. It's just go, it's just Series A, Series B, Series C. It's just each round of funding. is just Yeah, just more times. So essentially when a company goes public, they don't ask for more funding. Typically, They just go IPO. They, you go IPO at a certain point. Yeah, so like funding is just to stay private. Correct. But you, like Series G, that's seven. They don't want to go public. They just want. Oh, I see. I see. I see. They want funding, but they don't want to go public. Exactly. So you look. Some for people someone, want to exit, but they don't want to go public. No, that's not even to exit. No, I'm assuming some people would like to exit from there. Yeah, yeah depending on how the then comp- you sell. Yeah, yeah, you 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 could also sell. Yeah, well, or at that point you can also just take it IPO. Mm-hmm. 
and you already have a board of directors and you sell off your parts you that's that, that that's a better exit but you have to plan out for it you, either way you have to sell it that's crazy series g but yeah either way you would have to sell it yeah another one of their like their really big ones was uh <clears throat> in 2012 i think it was 2012 2013 uh where they invested 100 million dollars into github to where github 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 what's that you know what GitHub is? No. I think so, but I'm not sure right now. All right, so GitHub is like a... Imagine like a portfolio website mm-hmm. like uh, f- for code, for coding. So uh, people would open up G- GitHub accounts, like coders, uh, developers, and they would post uh, their projects into what they call uh, repositories. Mm-hmm. Um, people use it for different purposes. Either you could use it as like your own portfolio of like different projects that you've worked on, or other people use it for uh, to help open create open source uh, projects. Okay. Um, super useful. Like that GitHub is used by almost everyone in the tech space. Uh, you, you can find like there's a uh, there's like GitHub repositories for just straight up viruses that will like one of them. I think it's called like a zoo, like something mm-hmm. zoo. I so think. I'm assuming that one did good. Huh? I'm assuming that, that GitHub. Oh yeah, GitHub did crazy good. Um, Microsoft acquired. Oh no! Uh, it netted a sixteen Z. Okay, so the hundred million dollar investment netted them one billion dollars. Yes, makes um, sense. That's a hundred x. Yeah, right. Ten x. Ten x. Ten x. Ten x. Um, Sorry guys, my numbers were thrown <clears throat> off there. Microsoft acquired it for seven point five billion dollars. Jesus. Yeah, that's a payout. But the thing, uh, so I, I was listening to an interview. One of the thing, one of the things, uh, Andreessen was saying was that for VCs more so than anything is it's a lot of investing knowing that 50% might hit and 50% will not hit at all 50% seems a little high <laughs> from, to what, hit? from what I've heard well yeah it's less from what I've heard it's like more like 70% won't hit yeah it's, it's 30 to 70 20% will hit but very small hits like it just oh, and 10% blow up and then like the 10% like well is where you get your money from okay I don't know if this is accurate with the, this is why it's so hard so like I, I went on their portfolio went to crypto uh, currently all stages the only exit they have is Coinbase at DPO oh really at DPO yeah what does that mean I would have to go I, would, I actually don't know what DPO I only know of IPO let's google it DPO meaning oh it's like a public offer Something maybe <clears throat> interesting. I'll tell you right now. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, but yeah, they get, they got into Coinbase in 2013. When was that? Uh, so it says DPO. Let's, you know what? DPO exits. Ah, good, good, good search term. Good search term. Was that was that recent? Direct public direct public offering. Oh, okay, That's okay, that makes sense. Ah, yeah. right, we're done. Yeah. No, that wasn't recent. <laughs> That was a while ago. Direct public offering. But now if you go to, I clicked on venture and growth, meaning they're what they're currently helping grow and stuff like that, they're in some pretty big companies. It's some? Majority. Lyft? No, no, no. For crypto specifically. Oh, specifically crypto. Cri- spe- cri- oh, crypto specific. Ripple? They're in Yuga Labs. Yeah, Yuga was recent. Uh, yes, y- probably when Yuga did the last round of funding. Yuga, Yuga, yeah. And they probably got a big yeah. chunk there. They raised four hundred fifty million dollars. Yeah, I, was it? Was it, all, it wasn't just all from them though. Uh, no, no, that round of funding raised four hundred fifty million dollars. Yeah, from Yuga. Um, and it valued Yuga at four billion dollars. That's a stupid number. Yuga's a huge company. Huge, stupid, huge. Also private. Oh, actually, because of that funding round, uh, the SEC started looking into Yuga Labs. Yeah, they started investigating. They haven't made any claims or anything, but they're not yet. Yeah, but it's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen there. Yeah. The other company they have is. Uniswap. Then Uniswap? Yes. So Uniswap? Yes, they also invex- invest in exchanges. Okay. And not exchanges, but um, DeFi protocols. And stuff DeFi like protocols, that. okay. OpenSea. Yeah, I know they're into OpenSea. I have some information. And Dapper. OpenSea. Dapper? Dapper Labs. Oh, Dapper Labs. The one who does Topshop and all their UFC Strike and all those. Oh, they have CryptoKitties. Dapper Labs. I think those are the ones who did uh, CryptoKitties, I'm not mistaken. Dapper Labs is Crypto Kitties. I'm pretty sure. Oh, don't quote me. I don't. I don't call you on that one. I don't remember. I see. Yeah, yeah. So they. So uh, a, uh, does it say there when they got into uh, OpenSea? Uh, I'll tell you right now. Let me see. I'll click around it. 
You click around it. Yeah, see. Or, yeah, then it pop. Yeah, because I know. Okay, so the notes that I have that I had written down um, says um, that they led OpenSea's Series A funding uh, to uh, raise $100 million, uh, valuing it at $1.5 billion in 2021. But if they led the the Series A, then I'm assuming that they were already inside. Uh, they already had some stake into into OpenSea. But that was like recent. Not necessarily Ish. true. Why? Unless they're like, unless they're maybe uh, what's it called? Uh, contracted or hired for consulting to try to get the the Series A funding to be worth worth their time. So if they sold, if they did, if if they said they let it, they probably did. They're probably in seed funding, like mm-hmm. just initial start. Uh huh. And then they did series. A, the yeah, series that's a. what I'm saying. That's yeah, what, probably. And it doesn't say when it got it, but I just did a quick Google search, and, and it was 2021 in March. And the comp. So, the company led. It. So it looks like they just got tw- the series A funding round was like 23 million for Open Sea. That's what it says here on the quick Google search. 23 million. Yeah. For them, maybe. I, that's what I'm not sure. Of. Because what I what I saw was that uh, Open Sea Series mm-hmm. A, uh, How much is the raise had a hundred million dollar raise. We'll find out. Right, I see it here. You saw, what website do you say you're on? You're on theirs website. Well, I wasn't on theirs for that. I was on just Google. I just went on their website right now. I'm telling you, this company is freaking huge. But like. Mm-hmm. They had money before starting it. Like they were like investors themselves. Yeah, they were already investors se- uh, separately, and then they got together to create the company. And they their initial fund was for three hundred million. Their initial fund had three hundred million. Yes. Yeah, yeah, VCs take a lot of money. You you pr- typically when you start a VC, you find other private investors who uh-huh. are trying to do that, just invest in other things. I see. But you typically won't be able to start one at that size. Like there's levels. And once you reach, once you do a three hundred million dollar like company, you, I don't think you can do another one. You have to create another fund. Oh, like they're capped out at like how at, big they could be. Yes, correct. Again, I'm not good with funds. Funds are a little tricky because there's like structuring, there's like legalities there. behind it. Yeah. Uh, I see. Oh, they got jobs on there. Yeah. <laughs> Seed, venture growth, and exits. Oh my God. Oh, they're in DYDX. Uh, seed fund. Uh, th- we talked about that last week. Okay. Well, yeah, mm-hmm. I thought they started off with way less than that. I like thought 300 million? Th- yeah, like no. four or five. No, 300 mil. Okay. That's what they started off with, and I think that's when they invested early. I don't remember what exactly, but they got a good, hit, a couple good hits there, too. I see, yeah. Uh, but you can Google you can, I think I, I Googled it, like, the other day. So, I saw that after selling... Mm-hmm. Uh, after exiting GitHub, uh, they got into Medium in 2015, which is super big time used in the crypto space uh, for documentation and just um, management in general. Uh, Medium is a online publishing platform, uh, and it's it's actually they haven't exited that one. At least actually, better said, I don't know if they've exited or not. But I know Medium is privately held. Um, and then <clears throat> one that got me com- surprise was. This other thing that they opened that same year that they invested in was called a uh, Open Bazaar, mm-hmm. which no longer exists. Um, I guess it wasn't doing too hot, but Open Bazaar was an open sourced, decentralized e-commerce protocol. So essentially, uh, they tried to make like just like kind of like a uh, Shopify, mm-hmm. decentralized. Okay. Uh, people paying crypto, pay for any service, products, goods, whatever. Uh, in an oh, just in crypto. Yeah. Um, so to actually get Open Bazaar at the time, or at least you can still probably get it now. It's on GitHub, on a GitHub repository, github.com slash Open Bazaar. Mm-hmm. But it's an e-commerce platform, so you would assume you'd find it on the website, like yeah. the website. But you can't. Because it doesn't exist anymore. They closed it into 2021. So the website won't be able to exist because it's not decentralized. Like, well, they because it has to have an entity. Yeah, it needs to have an entity. Uh-huh. And then when I mean, you have an entity. So you... right now, they kind of like someone restructured it mm-hmm. and they're kind of like based off like it's. So there's this website called Mo, Mobaza, M-O-B-A-Z-H-A, Mobaza.org. 
that's literally just a copy of of Open Bazaar. How they're working legally or like based off like there any like requirements and stuff, I don't know. But I do want to check that out. I didn't have a chance to check it out, but I do want to check it out just to see what what type of like companies or businesses are on there. I'm assuming like small time like like people interested in crypto are probably s- definitely like on that. Mm. Uh, back to the end, the OpenSea thing, they raised 23 million on the first time. In the seed fund? Yes, in the Series A. In, oh, really? In the first funding round, they put 23 mil. And then I'm assuming the second set round of funding, they put in, they, they added more. Oh, they as in? Yeah. Uh, A16Z put in 26 mil. 23 million. 23 million in Series A. In Series A, correct. I see. Yeah, but you see, they have a lot of exits. Well, they they need to like, capitalize on something. Yeah, but like good at like a firm, Airbnb, Asana, Lyft, Facebook, Pinterest, Groupon, Coinbase, a DPO, Slack, Roblox, Coinbase, Zynga, Twilio. Damn, these people are hitters. Clover, hitters. Oh, and Clover got acquired. Yeah, but uh, Which, I think that's a good exit. Like I'm not. Yeah, but anytime you get acquired, you 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 get bought out. For the most part, you, no. But what I'm saying is like that's probably a good sell because I don't think Clover is gonna be doing super hot. Like, on like at least who I, sold? Huh? Who sold? What do you mean who sold? You said that was a good sell. Like uh, A16Z. They didn't sell. Oh, like the the owners of the company sold. I see. I see. And what happens there is A18Z gets paid out. They get pay- okay. Like what happened with Twitter when, with my one stock when Elon bought it. You got paid out. I got paid out. You got paid out fifty three dollars a share. I see. Exactly. Yeah, you just get paid out. Okay, interesting. Oh, and then it says who they acquired it by. Yeah, of course. Interesting. Wow, they actually pretty cool. Instagram? Well, they were in Instagram, and then Facebook bought them, bought Instagram out. What a what a deal there. <clears throat> yeah, of course. Bro, these people. Oh, Oculus, but I'm not surprised about that. But not. Yeah, but they raised three hundred million dollars for the first fund for the first crypto specific fund. No, first fund. What? Yeah, their first fund was for three hundred million dollars in twenty eighteen. Two thousand nine. Okay, no. What I'm saying is, in twenty eighteen, uh-huh. they raised three hundred million dollars for a crypto specific fund. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, at that time, because I know in twenty twelve, I think. They did a second fund, and then their third their their third fund was uh, crypto specific, and then their fourth fund was also crypto specific. Yeah, and they raised like four point. Or, uh, You're talking about the fourth fund? Yeah, they raised like a couple billion. Four point five billion. Billion. Oh, it was the right. largest fund that they've that they've announced. They, yeah, it makes sense. That one is uh specifically focused for blockchain and crypto. Yeah. The way that they're spreading up that fund. Is 1.5 billion is going for seed, uh, seed phase, uh, rate, right. seed, seed funding, seed funding, and then the remaining three billion is for venture. So that's that's probably for crypto specific, uh, companies. Yeah. Uh, which which in the interview I saw with him, he was saying they don't really differentiate between companies and blockchains and blockchains like don't invest to them it's the same mm-hmm. like they're don't invest in either interesting stuff i had to make a quick it's been a minute since i checked the the recording page i had to make sure we're still recording i mean i would hope so that would suck if now but not be the nicest thing not not be fun which are also getting into games which no, they're not getting into games they already do games I mean, they've been doing games since, since they started. They, yeah. They, That's they just were, like another thing added. They were in Zynga. Yeah. Zynga's huge. At least it was huge. I remember it being everywhere for every game. Is that the... I, I don't remember. Oh, Zynga's a game company? Zynga's a game company. Like, the, like all like the app like app store games. Or Zynga? Or like I don't... Zynga. I think you might be... I'm pretty sure you're right. I just don't remember. Like, <laughs> didn't trigger my thoughts. Really? Yeah. Oh, Oculus was 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 its own company. Yeah, Oculus was, and then acquired by by Facebook. Facebook. Oh, smart! You didn't know that? No, I didn't know it was standalone. Yeah, yeah, it was some people. Because the minute I caught caught onto it, it was already on Facebook. Like Facebook already was promoting it, at least that I remember of. 
Yeah. No, I remember when uh, when Oculus started because Oculus was being used for a lot of like decentralized stuff beforehand. Oh yeah. Yeah, like the metaverse was being built on Oculus for a minute. Um, but then once uh, Facebook took it and they attached their uh, Facebook like login, mm-hmm. like you gotta to create like an Oculus account, you had to connect it through via Facebook. Really. And a lot of like the Oculus user base got really hot. When that because there was no login because they they didn't want their their Oculus account to have to be linked to their Facebook account. Yeah, that like, I don't want my gaming station or like whatever they were using it for to be used for uh, to be connected to Facebook. So it's kind of this can, thing I heard. Can I say something about Oculus for sure before, before you before I interrupt you? you before yeah yeah, um, I saw this uh, interesting uh, uh, commercial for Oculus. Where someone was producing music uh, in VR, like augmented reality, using Oculus. So Oculus has like four cameras uh, on the on their headset, pointing outwards that lets you see like the rest of the world. Like it kind of like it projects things onto it. So it's like a uh, like Google Lens, mm-hmm. like augmented reality. So you could like I don't know what the name um, of the platform is, but I've seen I've seen our cousin use it. Uh, Ableton, I think it might be. Um, but like, you see the in the commercial, you see this per like you see a band playing music, and then you see one person with the a with the Oculus on them and like just messing around with like different configurations. I'm like, that looks pretty cool. I I think in some near future, uh, it'd be like a lot of like like desktop apps would be on like Oculus type things, kind of like a Jarvis. But not holograms. Yeah, but that's annoying right now. Yeah, yeah right now, of course. It's not <laughs> the best. It needs to get smaller. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. No, that's my train of thought. Oh. <laughs> I was going to interrupt you. I forgot what it was, though. I figured, I figured that was gonna, that might have happened. I had somewhere to go. I don't remember where I was going to go with it. It'll come back to me, and then I'll reinterrupt at some point. All right, okay. So, I said... Okay, so we talked about the first crypto fund that was done in 2018. And the fourth one, right? Yeah. That was done in 2022. The second one happened in 2020 uh, where they raised $515 million for that one. For crypto funds? For crypto specific. They have four crypto specific funds. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, that same year, then they also invested $12 million into the Series A for Clubhouse. Have you, have you ever used Clubhouse? No, and I'm glad it died. It, it, it's still it's still running <laughs> yeah but it's not popular. yeah no one uses it Twitter spaces kind of ate it up no what Twitter spaces oh kind of yeah Twitter spaces is essentially clubhouse oh yeah and you don't need it to be it's so, not invite only I used to I used to listen to mm-hmm. um Robin Hood snacks they go by it's a podcast uh they used to be called something else then they switched to Robin Hood snacks when that podcast got acquired by Robin Hood and now they go by uh, T-Boy, uh, the best one yet. And they always use this term whenever a company uh, copies another company. Mm-hmm. They call it getting zucked. Because uh, Facebook loved like, uh, just copying other comp- like their competitors and just throwing it onto their platform. Uh, like, for example, the uh, stories. When Instagram added stories, uh, my, not bad. When I went Instagram added stories, when Snapchat came out and added stories, it's always has. Didn't Snapchat always have stories. So Snapchat had like the, the you could send send feature send. But they have a story feature. But then they also had the story feature. But when Facebook wanted to acquire Snapchat and Snapchat didn't sell, oh, and then just add stories. They're like, okay, well we just add it to our own thing. Yeah. And Instagram added stories, which kind of killed Snapchat. <laughs> which kind of killed Snapchat. Yeah. yeah. But then, uh, like other like other companies did something like I forgot what like I forgot exactly what because it's been a minute. But that was like that was like the first time they did it. And so then, um, uh, on that podcast, uh, T Boy, they call it getting zucked when you copy something that your competitor does. Yeah, but um, Steve Jobs was told the same thing. Oh really? Yeah, he his thing was um, I don't remember the saying, but it was like just be the pirate and steal from 
Yeah, from those who yeah. steals from those who already did it. Oh, I have ice. I apologize for the listeners. Don't and you hearing nice? Yeah. Give us a big gulp. <laughs> a little uh, ASMR. What does that stand for? ASMR. Yeah. I don't listen to that, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You know what's? You know what I find disgusting? Oh, okay. Mukbangs. What? Mukbangs. Is that the food thing? It's the food thing. What food? I don't. Okay. It's any food. Yeah, but isn't it just like a bunch of people eating food? It just yeah, a mukbang is like ASMR, where it's like ASMR is just like high quality audio of someone doing something specific. Yeah. A mukbang is kind of ASMR slash video of people just munching down on food. But like not giving no insight on the food? <clears throat> like not giving food reviews? No. So you're just watching other people eat? Like not not just eat. It's eat like typically an insane amount of food. It's like you just see like someone with like an like, example like ice cream cone mukbang like a popsicle mukbang so it's like 10 people eating 10 no it's like one person eating like 15 bars of ice cream oh why would you do that why would you want to see that that's what, <laughs> that's, what hey, that's worse than listening to this podcast <laughs> like i'd rather <laughs> listen to this podcast than watch that video <laughs> like honestly a thousand percent like i feel like this might be less wasting of time <laughs> and this is longer oh, my. i feel like i'd rather waste an hour of my time listening to this podcast yeah, than it? watching a 10 minute video of somebody <laughs> fif- watching somebody eat 15 ice cream cones william it doesn't stop at the ice cream what what else are you eating like five pounds of pasta what are you doing eating five pounds of pasta an entire the entire taco bell menu <laughs> Like anything. What the fuck? People do mukbangs for literally anything. And this shit gets views? Like hell of views. Are we doing the wrong thing right now? Wait, well, should we no, be doing a mukbang? You have no idea how much views mukbangs get. Like, why don't we go to... Like, I'm pretty sure if you're... We should go to Ale House and order everything on the menu. <laughs> if you do a mukbang we video... We should go to Ale House. If you start doing mukbang videos, like, you, you you think, wait, all wait, your wait. meals would be... Let's talk for. about this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Guys, this is a small tangent detour we're about to get on. I'm sorry. Why don't we get our our squad together? And just start recording. No, not start recording. We go to Ale House. Ale House. Mm-hmm. And we order one thing off the entire, like one of everything mm-hmm. on the menu. The entire menu. The entire menu. And just start eating. Just start eating. Yeah. You can how, do how expensive do you think that would get? Quite expensive. What's quite? Like, let's think about it. Like, two thou? Yeah, 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 that's not, that's not, that's not. A thou? That's not bad. And I, th- a thou, I thought a thou first, but I thought a thou was a little lo- short. I thought so, too. Then you said two thou, and I was like, okay, two thou is more, more appropriate. Two thou, we get everything off the menu. They might hate us. I said, I was going to say. And we make a mukbang yeah, out of it. Yeah. And I get, that gets head of views. Roll it, though? Because these people who do mukbang videos, wait a minute, this is the part that I think is even crazier. Okay, there's more. The pe- These people that do mukbang videos, okay. they don't do one video. What? They do a video a week. At least, yeah. But we just need to do one. Like, there's this one that like, uh, there's just like, a, a, there's a handful of people who do this. I think it's Ale House, two thousand dollars worth of food. Oh, wait a wait a minute. And and then why I'd happily do that without the recording. I have another. I happily do it with the recording. Also, don't get me wrong. But like, you don't need to like be like, oh, let's make a video w- about a it. drink of everything, one drink, one of each. There's not a mukbang. What's that? That's all called alcoholism. The heads. <laughs> I think there's just a recording a party or at, at that point. We could do that. <laughs> just have a little drink of everything too. That's funny. Okay, guys, off the tangent. He didn't. He didn't go for it. Eight sixteen. Eight sixteen Z. No, that's not what I was talking about. Uh, I was talking about uh, getting zucked. Yeah, and I talked about uh, Steve Jobs. Who did the zucking? Oh, Twitter zucked the Clubhouse. No, he didn't. Yes. That's exactly what Twitter did. Who said that? Me. I think you just bought her because you right now were using Clubhouse. No, I wasn't using Clubhouse. This thing got me confused one time. One one day I woke up to someone talking. I'm like, what, bro? Super weird. Was your phone off? My, I mean, it was like, like, did you leave it on Clubhouse? N- I never opened Clubhouse. Oh, <laughs> like I got invited to Clubhouse a while ago, like maybe like two two years ago. And I used it for like maybe a week or two. When I closed it, I never really opened it. And then sometime after, like a couple months after, I think, a couple weeks after, let's say, I just I just wake up to like some some lady talking. I'm like some like chick talking. I'm like what? I'm like what, what did she say though? Like you? What am I? Do- I don't know. What she was she, was she, she giving the gospel? She was she was not giving the gospel, but she was talking some 
normal clubhouse talk, right? I don't know what that means. You got to be on clubhouse to know. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but like, have the conversation on clubhouse are kind of like the same thing. So echo chambers. Kind of echo chambers, yeah. Gotcha. At least they, they all. It might just be that the way Clubhouse uploads the audio, because like the audio sounds pretty familiar for like all of them. Besides the point, I woke up to someone talking. I was like, "What? What the heck is going on?" Like, I don't know how that app opened. I like I I had to unlock my phone, get into the app, and I don't do that in my sleep. So I was just confused. The only thing that I thought as a possibility was like I might have been subscribed or like notified, like a notification reminder set mm-hmm. for maybe like a specific space that was opening up and it just automatically opened it, which would be cool if Twitter did that because I set up notifications for Twitter, but it doesn't, doesn't, I never get notified. Twitter's still being worked on. Yeah. Twitter is a $44 billion startup. That's wild. And A16Z only got 28.2 bill under under management. And it's, listen, and it's not a startup. It's been around for 13 years. Listen, there's levels to this game. There do be levels. Elon's at a high level. Which even uh, A16Z was praising him on the way. Like He's like, he funded both Tesla and SpaceX at the exact same time. Like, looking for, fund, like, for funding for both of them. Yep. <laughs> and got to where it is. Keeping, te- keeping SpaceX private and making Tesla go uh, public. Yep. And he doesn't want SpaceX to go public until it does its job. Uh, yeah. Respect. That's respect. Because that means it's not for the money. Yep. It's for the hustle of the game. Quite a power move. It's for like its actual purpose. All right. Well, A16Z did do a move uh, last year that got people by surprise. Upset surprise or not? Or happy surprise? <clears throat> no, upset. Why? Um, well, after well, happy surprise was they they uh, created that that large fund four point five billion dollars for crypto, <clears throat> but then they also at some point now with that fund, but they didn't invest into this c- company startup called Flow um, that hasn't even opened yet. It's like pre seed investment. The company is owned by Adam Newman, uh, who is the previous CEO of WeWork. Uh, I don't know if you remember what happened with WeWork. Yeah. The back in 2019. Oh, what happened with WeWork back in 2019? So Adam Newman was pretty much the, like the founder of WeWork. He's been uh, on this whole like mission of like trying to bring communities together and that. stuff like that. All right. So <clears throat> Adam Newman, CEO of WeWork. Problem with, we, problem with it was that he was marketing WeWork as... Like from a business point of view, an investment point of view, he was marketing we work as a company, as a tech company. Oh, uh, but it's not. It's a, it's a real estate. Company. It's a real estate company. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is this is similar to what happened with uh, Carvana or something. Yeah, Carvana was like a, it's a vending machine for cars. Yeah, it's, they're considered a tech company, but it's not. It's not. It's just a car company. It's a, exactly. It's a, it's a retail like wholesale car company type thing. I, but <clears throat> Adam Newman has had some, like, I want to say mildly sketchy issues going on with him in the past. Uh, I think specifically three things happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we were supposed to go public or w- IPO'd in, tw- in 2019. And did it? I don't, I, I don't know if it did or didn't. I'm pretty sure it did, but with a bunch of headaches. Headache number one. Mm-hmm. In 2018, Adam Newman uh, rented out a plane and uh, flew somewhere international, non-domestic flight, <clears throat> but apparently had a... Uh, wow. What? What happened? You search it up? Yeah. What did you search up? We work IPO. Oh. What's it at? It basically IPO at 10 bucks, like 982, October 22nd, 2020. And honestly... You think Bitcoin's bad? <laughs> it works worse. It's at dollar sixteen. Oof. From all time high, it's down eighty eight point nineteen percent. From its IPO. Yeah. For no, from all time high. No, from all time high. Which what is, is all- it? What is its all time high? Twelve ninety nine. Ah, so its IPO was not quite successful. Mm mm. Was it valued at? 
Market cap? Uh, almost a billion, 8,844 8, million. 144 million? Yeah. A lot of money. 144 billion? 844 oh, million. million. Okay. Yeah, quite a bit of money. Okay. I mean, yeah, they got a hell of, a hell of properties. They do. They have, like, here in Miami alone, uh, one in Brickell, one in uh, Wynwood. Um, those are the two I know. And the, the one in Brickell is in Brickell City Center. The one in Wynwood is freaking huge. At least. I was about to work on one. Yeah. I was first starting a job. One of the jobs I looked applied to went there. Was that a we work? Was that we work? Interesting. It was peculiar. The building that a company was that the company I was working for. Well, I would have worked for yeah. Which I don't. This could be on a podcast. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I realized today or the other day I was I was doing my job and I look and one of the names on one of the emails I go wait a minute. I think I'll, I apply. I, I, apply, I, apply to this I applied to this company. <laughs> I'm like, this is the guy who interviewed me. <laughs> I literally paused. I'm like, no, no, you're a hundred percent the guy who interviewed me. Because the company and the name yeah. were both matched to what I, my information. Uh-huh. I remember. I was like, that's funny. That's funny. But I felt like hitting him up, being like, hey, Yo. what's up, homie? Remember me? <laughs> remember me? <laughs> I give you money now. <laughs> that's funny. But it was. I just had that. That was interesting. <clears throat> All right, so in 2018, two years before the IPO of uh, WeWork, uh, Adam got into this whole issue with a pilot for a plane that he that he hired. Mm-hmm. He hired a night. He he chartered a plane for a night with his buddies. I need you to know something. Yeah. Your tangents are great. They need to go a little quicker. Uh, no, this isn't a tangent. This is about this is about a a sixteen. Concise this okay, okay. shit, dog. I, I, <laughs> he got the pilot got. Uh, what's it called frustrated with him or like upset okay. because of a whole he, he brought in a a cereal box full of weed what <laughs> who brought it in someone from that crew from the from, pilot's from, crew no not from oh the, from the from, crew from, from okay like, got you got from you like the people that were like oh, charting who was the, charting yeah. it got it so then the pilot was like no this is a private jet yeah yeah it's a private jet yeah so the, the pilot left his ass there and dipped it he's like you gotta find your own way. Buddy. That's like, fair enough. Like, I don't want. I don't want to get caught with no like international. Uh, yeah, if it's a lot of, if it was a lot, yeah, because that could go <clears> for smuggling a whole bunch of things. It's a headache. Yeah, the second issue that that they had uh, was that Adam owned all of the buildings, or like owned a good portion of the buildings that we and not the in. company and not the company. Yeah, but they had the company's name on it. Yeah, yeah, they had the company. They all said we work. And that could uh, be structured, though. Yeah, yeah, like, of course. But like well, for your IPO wise, like that kind of looks a little like sketchy. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how is the CEO gonna have fiduciary responsibilities for the investors if, no, you, no, no, no. if they own the building that they're being leased to? And to make matters worse, here's the third one. He owned uh, We Holding LLC. Yeah. We as in W E, like we work. That licensed. The We trademark to WeWorks. Yeah, that's that's not shocking. No, no, it's not shocking. You it's don't just, think other companies do it? You just not. No, 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 no. Then how how come he got under so much fire for that? Who gave him the fire? Who? The the, pe- the people who found out about it. The investors, yeah. yeah. The people that I just said because people find out found out about it. Mm-hmm. Most companies are are done like that. There's a holding a holding company that holds the other companies that hold an asset. The license out the yes. Name. All right, yeah. So okay. Essentially, the think, okay. Let's pause here. No, no. Let's get into it. Let's let's structure it out. Okay. Uh, my company, for an example, how do you think it's structured? A holding company holds the three other businesses. Correct. Uh, each business is its own LLC. Oh, and yeah, they're they're on their individual partnerships uh-huh. with their own uh, investors associated to them. Exactly. You know how many times a company will very easily, for an example, you would have a company that owns the land you're currently rented on, mm-hmm. but you all that the LLC, the holding company, owns it. Mm-hmm. That holding company could then lease it, make a profit, to another company. I want to say which you can also own, but since it's an LLC or another entity. Completely separate from you, mm-hmm. meaning you're now paying rent to them, so it's pay- it's paying you, creating a, a whole thing, and then you put another company on top, which is le- releasing it to uh, to the to that created the actual building. So here's the thing that I don't understand fully. 
I'm sure it makes sense, but we need lawyers for all that. But yeah, what I feel like at some point, when you start adding one company under another company that owns something from the other yeah. company, at some point I feel like you're just causing a whole bunch of transactions between entity to entity. Like you're separating every company from you, but that's that costs money. Yeah. Okay. And it puts you at zero liability, meaning you make zero money, meaning you're borrowing all those assets from the company, meaning you're using. <clears throat> this is why I got you around. <laughs> this is why I got you around because hypothetically, I, I, yeah, hypothetically, I kind of financial fo- advice is all hypotheticals. I kind of follow, but like, there's there's something that is just not quite clicking yet for me, where I'm like, okay, uh huh. The the cost of like moving money from one comp like from one company to the another. cost is those are all taxable events that you you're paying. Those are all taxable events. There are it's there all are, spending. There are there are uh like issued at, like they're noti- like what's it called uh notarized written down written down as uh an ex- as ex- a business expense mm-hmm. which is tax deductible. Correct. Okay, then that makes sense. It also separates you. So, meaning, if they go after the company, then, and the if company, they go after you, they can't go after. They the can't company. go after anything because you don't own anything. Uh-huh. It, some company, and if they go after one company, they can't really take too much because it's, it's like separated one, by a holding company that's really typically held as a trust or like, some sort of na- yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. It's like for, specifically for the building for WeWorks. It's like if WeWork got got uh, sued. No, nah, we're not. We're not saying what he did isn't wrong or sketchy. And it just depending yeah, on how it's so handled. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it's very bad because he got caught doing that and it looked a little sketchy it's also because it was an it's, IPO maybe he didn't do anything illegal maybe I don't know I, well, yeah we know the full details but that that what we're talking what I'm currently saying investor, is, is not like, in common practice yeah. it's not something I haven't seen before because typical structures mm-hmm. are just company, people that typically do that probably don't go for IPOs no no not no not like that no, that's part of the issue. Like Tesla wouldn't be done like that. That's why he has Tesla Boring Company and yeah. and spe- like you know they're separated like that. I'm sure Elon has like a bunch of like smaller LLCs or like trusts and funds and shit like that. Uh, he probably LLCs. has trusts that hold specific assets. Maybe like, like, like I, I lie to you, he doesn't. I'm sure he actually he doesn't. He probably only has a trust that holds his Tesla stock. Mm-hmm. That's that's probably all he has. What a. That, yeah, he's different. What a fun world. That's a different guy. <laughs> the world of finance is actually quite interesting. That's a different guy. But he just probably owns the... He just probably has the uh, the, the the trust that holds all the Tesla stock for him, which he would be a... I forgot, I forgot the name now. A trustee. The trustee for it. And depending how he did it... <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. It's yeah. all speculative at that point. Everything's speculative. This is, not, this is all hypothetical, people. <laughs> this is not all hypothetical. It's hypotheticals. Okay, the fine. current last 10 minutes have been hypotheticals. Yeah, okay, okay. That much, that much I could probably agree with. All right. We're not trying to get sued out here. <laughs> I want you to know that. No. Or what? get people to come after us. Yeah, facts, facts. It's often in games, so someone really listens to this. <laughs> I hope someone listens to this. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing here? All right. Yeah, like the structure for A16Zs is mm. probably very similar. Yeah, each fund is separate, held by oh for sure, for sure. This by held something probably more more so. Uh, like they probably have a team of lawyers just sp- making sure. Oh yeah, they got it's, lawyers for that. Yeah. By any chance, did you see a uh, sixteen A sixteen Z's uh, crypto cannon? What? Crypto cannon? Is a cannon? So it's not a cannon. It's not like a boom explosion cannon. Um, it's more of a of a landing page with a bunch of uh, resources, crypto resources, readings and stuff. No, like but that. It, I know they have a newsletter, a podcast, blogs. They have a whole bunch of Correct. like their Correct. own. No, no, this is one specific website, one page okay. on their website. With, I stopped counting once I got to a hundred. Whoa! When I kept on when I kept on looking, like it looked like it was easily over one hundred fifty. 150 what like different different articles links tutorials youtube videos explaining everything there is about crypto okay um it goes from everything from like just blockchain basics uh decentralization privacy security assets investing token distribution stable coins crypto economic primitives crypto goods uh, and then there's also a section there for uh, developer tutorials and practical guides. 
Okay. Um, and at the bottom is where they have their, their newsletters and courses and stuff like that. Mm. But literally, I'm telling you, like, 150 plus, like, for sure. Information articles. Yeah. Why Bitcoin Matters in 2014. Like, this, okay, so this page was says, it said mm-hmm. that they made it between 2018 and 2019. But, like, the articles are from, like, just in general, anytime. Uh, 2014, 2017, 2009, 2013, 1982, the business in general's problem. 1988, uh, the Agoric Paper series. Uh, 1997, the idea of smart contracts. So it's like smart contracts aren't even like a new thing. Oh, but that, so that that article specifically was written by Nick Szabo. Who's that? Nick Szabo, uh, like w- one of the potential Satoshi Nakamoto's. I don't believe him. <laughs> he never claimed that he's a Satoshi Nakamoto. All right then. Just people, people in general. People should stop assuming. They'll never know. They Sorry will again for know. the ice. No, they won't. They will never know. Um, just yes, yeah, so just a bunch of a bunch of different articles. When it comes out that Bitcoin was created by multiple countries, everyone will stop caring, and we just keep on using it and be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't would you? If you found out tomorrow Bitcoin was created by five countries, whichever ones you want, what are you gonna do? Keep it moving. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna keep it moving. Those five countries decided to associate themselves as Satoshi Nakamoto one day and create Bitcoin. Great, applaud them. Which, how do the only way to verify that would be moving the Genesis block? Yeah, yeah. The only way, the only way, like the only way, moving moving funds from that block is the only way to identify. Like you need to access this wallet and send it. Yeah, dude. The day (laughs) one Bitcoin moves from there, the world is losing its mind. (laughs) Because I'm sure. All these anal- analysis companies are waiting for it. Like, have a oh no no, bro. There's a bot. There's an API just like scanning. waiting for it to like every se- every second to, to, yeah, to, yeah. To, to waiting for it to scan. Well, every seven minutes, not every second. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'm, why do I think it's seven? Uh, ETH is seven. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, every time I just vroom, vroom. <laughs> yep, just like oh, <laughs> anything move from this block. And the second it moves, it'll be wom, 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 wom. No, sirens. A sirens, not wom, wom. sirens <laughs> coming out. Like just literally, just and sirens. a pterodactyl comes out of the volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Megatron pulls up. <clears throat> <laughs> Batman sign. <laughs> Batman sign gets gets flown out. <laughs> Megatron. Or first minute. Optimus Prime. <laughs> gets, you might want to bleep the, that. Gets deployed. What? Which one? <laughs> yeah, what you just said? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh, they call a ceasefire. I should have didn't hear what you said, but alrighty, we no, can. No. Li- you'll listen to it. You'll find out. Maybe <laughs> yeah. you'll decide at that point. <clears throat> That's funny. But yeah, that that website looks pretty good. They're like a landing page. Anything else? Yeah. What? <laughs> I told you this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> well, what else do you have? So um, <clears throat> they also uh, posted a article that I apparently don't have oh I do have open uh, a16z crypto.com slash big idea oh big hyphen ideas hyphen 2023 okay so this pretty much this article was released December 15 2022 written by it looks like Michael Blau Joseph Bonu New Noah Citron Valeria Nicolaneco I'm sorry Vic, but I'm sorry Valeria he just butchered that name. <laughs> Kara Wu Gui. Okay, just okay. Then. Okay, and Michael Zhu. Let's and just not read now and be like, I apologize, I can't pronounce yeah, yeah, your name. I'm sorry for like half of you guys. I great article. Just I just I read. just can't pronounce names. <clears throat> Alright, well they talked about the things that they're excited about in crypto for this years to come. First thing on the list, blockchain mobility. Uh my bad. Blockchain mobile movement. What? Um uh, they're really excited about blockchain uh, being more accessible on mobile devices like phones and tablets okay. um, because for the most part uh, when you're accessing blockchain information uh, you're doing so through uh, some type of third party Yeah. Um, when really the best way of accessing blockchain information Native. is uh, directly through a node communicating with the blockchain the nodes are like what communicates directly to blockchains yeah but like that's so difficult right now correct which is why they're excited about blockchains moving into the mobile environment would 
ETH be one of the first ones? Um, so what? Which ones would be the first ones? I don't know. I do know that they named a couple of like nodes. Uh, they termed them light clients. Um, they would have similar functionality to full nodes. Um, specifically, they named three: uh, Helios, Kevlar, and Nimbus. Nimbus to me sounds familiar. And Helios was released by A16Z. Do you know where you might know Nimbus from? Uh, Nimbus Clouds? <laughs> it sounds familiar. It's like one of those words. You're right on the money. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. But yeah, the idea of that is so that people could verify blockchain data directly from the blockchain on their devices, which is why they're excited. For it. Which makes sense. It's just like more decentralized. Easier. Way. Also, that's, uh, it makes it easier. Yeah, exactly. Okay, to again. Next thing that they mentioned which we talked about a couple episodes ago, which one I don't remember, but uh, zero knowledge proof. I don't remember. I think we talked about it a few times. Probably, uh, maybe once or twice. Um, but yeah, zero knowledge proof, they say, is like will be one of the major keys to being able to scale crypto technology, blockchain technology. Yeah? Yeah. Like, hmm. There are some issues with it, but they say on the bright side, it has moved from... It recently moved from a thing that's in theory to practice. So, yeah. It's like it's no longer just some theoretical BS. It's like we're currently practicing some Z, uh, ZK proof. I think crypto become more user, friend, not user. Uh, we'll start pushing the envelope once uh, chains and all these things start um, backing up what they their promises. Oh, absolutely. Like they start, they start. Um, absolutely no. So like a lot of what we've seen so far, just mostly like groundwork. It's not even, not even structural yeah. bullshit. It's just groundwork. It is prepping the ground, the terrain, uh, for what what is to come. Like, first of all, to have some type of trust in in the in the system. Like, if you don't have technical uh, know how and could see read code or like test it out yourself yeah you need some type of like history of verifiable like interactions like okay this hasn't fumbled before other people who don't have the technical knowledge to be able to start trusting it so yeah it's still ground 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 well i meant to more so like what like promise projects start Uh um accomplishing their their promises like Mm -hmm. whatever their roadmap like you start actually executing Mm mm-hmm like, I don't think there's enough execution. True, true. So, yeah, that's part of the reason why A16Z created those crypto funds. So they could fund founders that are really interested in actually building on the space. Yeah. Um, Even though some say don't agree. I think that, I think that's fair to say. What? The guy who we you sent me. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. disagreed with him. Yeah. Which, what's, I mean, can't, we, we don't talk shit here. We just say the information we saw. His name, it's the, it's for, the company he owns is a Swan. It's a invest, it's a Bitcoin service. Swan? That's not yeah. familiar. Yeah. Swan. Swan Bitcoin. Swan Bitcoin? Mm-hmm. Is the name of the company? Yep. Uh, is it like a card that, pay, that lets you pay stuff in crypto? It's not a card from what I can see. Buy Bitcoin with your bank account. Swan Bitcoin. Swan is the best way to build your Bitcoin stack with automated Bitcoin savings plans and instant purchases. Oh, you know what? I think I might have, I think I might have been looking for something like this. Yeah, the guy's name is uh, Corey Clipston. Okay. He's the founder of Swan. He's also a big uh, Bitcoin guy. Well, he, he has a Bitcoin company. So. Yeah, big, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't. He doesn't. He he found that he finds that a sixteen Z has a shield or pushed a lot of companies that were just like Ponzi schemes. Well, that's what he was saying. No, that's what he said. He has a Twitter thread on it. You guys can go Google that. But that's the infer- That's what he was sharing. And like the reputation was that he called Celsius. Like like he knew that Celsius was gonna go bankrupt when they were. Like he called it out. Like before it happened. Same for FTX. And there was another one that I read that he also like. Oh, for Luna, he was like, "This is also like a scam." Oh, okay. Like he just not. Yeah, he was like, "No, no, these are all scams." Like straight up. I see. Um. So actually, I'm looking at their that website, Swan Bitcoin, mm-hmm. and they have a Bitcoin cannon. Funny. 
but so I'm assuming canon is more just so like uh you being used as like a term for like a, a well of knowledge for a specific topic. So in this case, Bitcoin for a sixteen z it would be crypto. Yeah. So if this guy's like a Bitcoin maxi, then yeah, it makes sense as to why he wouldn't agree with what. He is a little bit. I mean, I got, I got that little bit of Bitcoin maxi vibes, but I'm not. He doesn't like pomp. Huh? He doesn't like pomp. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> so I found that interesting. That is interesting. I mean, pomp's not a uh, maxi. No, but. He he's a bit co- it's funny there's politics in crypto dog. yeah dude it's there's wild. politics in crypto <laughs> he also doesn't like Ben Armstrong Armstrong uh, Coinbase CEO okay I pretty sure that's his name okay I'm gonna go with that I don't know, you said Ben at first I thought Shapiro I was like no not that, him what's that got to do with, with anything what you looking let me make sure his name is Ben Armstrong oh okay so the other thing that that uh, A16Z uh, big ideas are for 2023 was VDF hardware, which stands for verifiable delay functions. Well, at least that's what VDF stands for. I have no idea what that means. Brian. Brian Armstrong. Brian Armstrong. Okay. Not Ben. Not Ben. <laughs> Sorry. It started with a B. Yeah, it does start with a B. Threw me off. Okay. Well. Sorry for interrupting. Why does he not like him? Oh, because Ben, because Ben, because Brian. Brian is down for crypto re- regulations, kind of. Uh-huh. But at the same time, he's set, he has a bunch of securities because hmm. a lot of coins are securities, and he's offering on Coinbase. And the second the sec decides to he's classify the this, CEO of Coinbase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the second the sec the SEC decides to come after it or like say what is a security and what isn't. All the, he either has to make the exchange a security, I mean, make the, the Coinbase a regulated exchange by securities laws, which they currently are not, or he would have to stop providing those assets immediately. I see. And that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Damn, these damn people are in all like. It, There's holes here. Like, if, if, if one move goes the wrong it's way. It's going to be some turbulent waters. Dude. Like very turbulent. Once someone pulls a plug, the water's gonna flow. The currents are gonna look. Form. Nah, once someone pulls a plug, the drain is coming. Yeah. And you'll see what makes it, what doesn't well, make it. I don't it. know. FTX collapsed, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, Bitcoin didn't crash below seventeen k. It got nowhere close to it. Well, that's yeah. Can I stand another one? Right now? Oh, right now I think it could. I don't think it'll happen right now. Another crash. Another. Do you think <laughs> so? What this guy have, was saying, Corey, have we, have we seen the worst of it? Corey was saying he wants uh crypto.com out of here. Oh, really? Yeah, because he, he thinks they're also scammy Ponzi scheme ish. Yeah, I don't know what their CRO coin is like. I I have some, but like I'm curious. I'm like, oh. so that's the thing. He's saying that all these companies are just creating these tokens to make a buck, mm-hmm. which makes sense. No, of course. I mean, but that they don't have any real utility, like it's a it's fake mm-hmm. like it's pure fake i don't know i'm i'm getting some utility i don't know is it sustainable i don't think so it's not so I, that's just, that's yeah. the entire thing yeah. it's not sustainable because yeah. you're you're not pro- how can you provide the funding for it that's, he goes if you were to do this sustainable you'll be a company like me mm-hmm. you wouldn't be worth billions of dollars yeah yeah so that's that's that is that is true the only reason why i have the cro coin right now is because i get that spotify rebate yeah but it comes back to me in cro which i don't spend i just leave it there yeah, it just gets bigger. Uh huh. Uh, kind of. Zero <laughs> keeps on going down in price. So you just get more of it. I just get more of it, but that means nothing to me if the value of zero is n- nothing. Yeah. You won't be able to liquidate. Yeah, I mean, okay. So the way I'm seeing is, I have a premium on Spotify, like a option, like a call, a call option on Spotify where I'm prepaid How, so my question is have I, you already made back the money no though? no no that's the thing i haven't really paid back the money i have i think it was like a 400 hundred dollar deposit yeah and uh every month i get charged 11 dollars. Okay. i've only had it for like a year and some change mm-hmm. so i need two more years three more years three more years to break even before it breaks even if shit hits the fan no that no, shit doesn't hit the fan if she hits the fan, you, lo- you lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, correct, you correct, lost 300 correct. bucks. If she doesn't hit the fan. So I got three more years worth of like 
like risk associated. Like, then after that, it's more risk free. Then after that, yeah, exactly. But he was saying like that's no. another one that might, that might go under. Yeah. Um. Fully on chain games and autonomous worlds. That well, they're investing in on chain games. Yeah, and that's what they're looking for. Uh, well, yeah, that's their next thing. That's, that's kind of yeah. why they're partnered up. They and then also up they got two more things. Two more things. Non transferable tokens. The tokens that once you uh, so uh, I've heard them as soul bound tokens, where once it enters a wallet. Oh, look, they do have it here also. Soul bound. Yeah. Um, soul bound tokens or non transferable tokens that once uh, like an NFT of some sort enters a wallet. It's stuck in that wallet. Yeah. So uh, if we go into like the kind of like this is like more, hasn't done been done yet, mm-hmm. but like uh, decentralized education mm-hmm. where right now I have a, a degree for a college or university, right? Yeah, it's not sellable. It, it's a piece of paper that I have that. Right, you can't sell then, it. You can't really. Well, it's a, if it's a soul bound token, you wouldn't be able to sell it. It's stuck to that wallet. No, I'm saying right now it's not sellable either. Like it belongs to you. <clears> it like belongs to me, but then also, what was a verif- Like how verifiable is that? Like Very, I could just, they I can could call just, your school and be like, "Did Alexander Aguirre graduate from your school at this time?" But does anyone really do that? I don't know. No, <laughs> I'm saying they can. They can. And I'm saying it's not difficult. It's not easy either you gotta get into the right department then you gotta be put just on ask hold. me for the graduate for the correct graduation department but now how, me as an let's say an employer how much do i trust that piece of paper quite a bit like schools currently you that's currently trusted quite a bit like doctors get doctor's degree and then they go become doctors i don't think no it doesn't work that way they, they get certified by by boards yeah and you know how you what you have to do to get certified by the board you have to have gone to medical school, school for whatever time frame okay now and then the board verifies that you went for the time frame, and then mm-hmm. you're allowed to take the board. In that exam. particular case, is more regulated because I mean they're doctors, but I mean for more so for just for like regular jobs. Let's say uh, becoming an accountant for someone. That's regulated. That is regulated, but not. I don't think it's as regulated as being a doctor. To become a public certified accountant, you first uh-huh. have to take a six hour course, and then after that to file, you have to uh, register to get your certified accountant's uh, license number. Mm-hmm. Also regulated, yeah. Also regulated. All those, everything you're talking about. I understand that. Unless it's a bachelor's, that's the only time it won't be. You, mm-hmm. There's no way of verifying. For the most part, a master's above, they're gun- they look into it. <laughs> they look into it. Yeah. yeah. Master's and above, they look into master's it. Master's and above, they're looking into it. All right, well, most likely. the idea of these soul bound things is more so for like making sure that whenever you get a specific training, it would make it easier. It's, yes. Yeah, I'm not. Just, I'm not arguing. That. I'm just saying to do it now. Yeah. You're like, yeah, Alex. They 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 check. They check. <laughs> They don't check our degree, or your degree, or my degree, because we're uh-huh. it's a bachelor's, and it's just like okay, go for it. Yeah. So, um, soulbound tokens, uh, just specifically tokens that would be stuck to a specific wallet, which could also be used for, let's say, identification purposes. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? An episode of Suits. I'm not sure if you ever watched the show, but it's a lawyer show, and the. In the accounting department for their firm, the the accountant they had never went to school. On paper, it said he did. Like they wrote down he did, but they didn't. Mm-hmm. Apparently, they didn't verify or like it was just said that he didn't or whatever, and they believed it. How we were just talking about like they didn't check it. Mm-hmm. But the thing was, he did his job right, so it yeah. never grew. It never wrote through a red flag for them to go and check it. Yeah, they just believed the paper so well since he was able to back it up in like when questions were asked, he knew the information. Mm-hmm. So you can also fake it till you make it. Yeah, the argument. I'm not denying that. It's either. also yeah doable. Um, and the other thing that they that they're interested in looking forward to this year is a uh, decentralized energy. I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, essentially, right now uh, our energy is uh, managed yeah. by centralized grids. Yes, yes, I know. Um, decentralized energy would would pretty much uh, help smaller communities uh, focus on their specific energy needs with uh micro grids yeah but that's a mission yeah, yeah it's not gonna be easy but um, it would be nice yeah, but that's that's a tall order something that would just be not very scalable either what do you mean not very scalable can't scale that no the it's the opposite of being scalable you want it small yeah i'm saying it's not scalable yeah, I'm not right. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? We agreed. Yeah, it's not. You scary. want it. You want it on a small scale, so yeah. that you create your own like 
Yeah, it would, okay, so it wouldn't work for Miami. It wouldn't work for New York. It wouldn't work for Los Angeles. It wouldn't work for Austin. Like it'll, it'll work more so for rural, 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 but it'll work more for um, those areas, like rural, rural areas. There it is. Which are which are which are smaller communities or further out. Yeah, so definitely I know it'd be perfect for like remote areas. Yeah, rural areas. Rural areas. Yeah, as well. But they're doing like they're doing different. They're doing a lot of everything because they have to. Yeah, that's what they do. That's a shoot yeah. shot. Yeah, no, they, they that's a shot they gotta shoot. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Because if it hits, it hits. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The way I see it working would be like uh, communities like that are out more in towns and stuff would have solar panels if they can. And I'll just be like every it would just create its own grid, and whatever is not. Whatever energy is left over, they'll just sell off to the next grid that's short on energy. Oh, they're also they also mentioned something about I'm reading the article again. Um, in that specific section for decentralized energy, something about uh, renewable energy certificates and uh, carbon credits that are on ch- on chain carbon credits. So essentially, like oh, uh, if you're creating renewable energy, then that specific energy token or like your energy would be worth more or would be more coveted than uh, energy that comes from that's like your phone right now a coal plant what do you mean your phone right now our phones right now both Uh of our iphones have a setting whichever whenever it's using a cleaner energy it will charge faster than if it's using dirty energy what yeah shut shut up no i saw it the other day how how does it know that Uh, you go to settings no way. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I mean, you're like kind of like blowing my mind right now. Everyone, you can try this out. So we go to settings, you go to battery. It's going to open up. You go to battery and health and you go to, tr- it says clean energy charging all the way at the bottom. Battery health. You might need to have the newer update. Battery health and charging. Yeah. Uh, okay. Maximum capacity. All the way at the bottom. Oh, clean energy charging is right there. Yep. In mm-hmm. your region, iPhone will try to reduce your carbon for bit. By selectively charging when lower carbon emission electricity is available. iPhone learns from your daily charging routine so it can reach full charge before you need to use it. Yeah. That's cool as fuck. I'm just curious as to how they do that. Uh, IP address? Some type of ping? So it probably pings your, lo- because your we're general location. Yeah. And then... And, just and it goes it. from there. It goes from there. It goes probably what's the nearest source. So that's power. probably that's probably something that will be deactivated if you have no cellular service. Or Wi-Fi connectivity. No. It should be. No. Yeah. I need to do more research on that because... So, the reason I say no is because most iPhones can currently connect to satellite. It's not not, not just like the antennas we currently like connect mm-hmm. to satellite itself. So, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they always have a connection to that. To the satellite. Correct. I see. Don't call me. I'm talking out of my ass a little bit on this one. I mean, there's definitely more. Uh, but I'm sure you can do it. <clears throat> Interesting stuff, William. That's cool. I also just learned that my maximum capacity is actually 88%, not 100%. Which is typical. I have a brand new phone that's at 99%. Oh, really? Your battery deteriorates. Mm. It doesn't last forever. Oh, that's not a setting that's like opt like option? No, that's your phone battery's uh, actual, like what it's capable of. Yeah, so your phone can only charge from zero to 88% now. I see. Because the battery has died, Mm -hmm. like has been uh, deteriorating over time. Interesting stuff. No, I mean, I knew that part, but I thought that was a setting. I thought that was like a... No, I think after it goes below 80, they give you the option to either optimize battery life Mm -hmm. or just keep on optimization of the phone. I see. Cool. Well, I got nothing else to say about E16Z. I think we went on a couple of tangents on the way. And recent. This, this one might be... Interesting? One of the, the, the more fun ones that we've done. How, what's our time? <laughs> I'm curious. What is our time? Um, uh, we're over an hour. Hour 21. Our longest. Our longest one yet. It is. No, okay. For sure. All right. So I guess before we do outros, follow us on Instagram. That Sometimes is an script. outro. No, it's not the outro. <laughs> okay. This part because they're gonna, and a tangent can arise from there. Okay. You know that. So follow us on Instagram, Sometimes Crypto. Also at Alexander Aguirre. Well, it's there somewhere. It's Mr. Alexander. Grander Alexander. That stuff. <laughs> at my, 
win with the boat. It's there's in a, the link. There's, yeah, there's links. There's guys. Links. Just <laughs> click them links, guys. God dang it. <laughs> oh, what are we doing um, on March? March 13th. What are we doing? Uh, we're what? hosting another. If y'all don't show up, we'll another still host. We'll host a crypto it, happy hour. We're going to keep on hosting until we die. The host until we die. We, we'll we try to have green drinks. We'll add Mio. <laughs> <laughs> add Mio. <laughs> When's St. Patty's Day? Uh, same day as every year. I don't know what it is. The March fort- 17th. We're going out that weekend? Yeah, it's a Friday. We're going out? Yeah. We're going to celebrate our cousin's birthday. Whose birthday? I'll tell you later. <laughs> Someone's birthday? Someone's birthday. Oh, we can after this. I'm, I forgot whose birthday it was. <laughs> Apparently, I should know. Should I know this birthday? Uh, I'm not surprised you don't know it. Ah, okay. Good enough. I can live we with that. should know it. Yeah? <laughs> like that? Okay. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to be doing that. Please show up. Yeah, links uh, are everywhere. We we will not stop posting about yeah. it. Yeah, crypto's crypto's uh one of those things that if you get lucky, you get lucky. I think life is lucky if you get lucky. Life is lucky. You just got uh, you just gotta live life, enjoy it, and drink some green drinks with us at the Bend on March thirteenth at six to eight. Yep. What's been another fun week of sometimes crypto? Your favorite crypto podcast? The Unscripted Crypto Podcast. Ayo! Bum, 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 bum.